We are now at the San Paulo uh, International Airport, which is the largest airport in South America. And we are actually running the Operation Falosa, which is targeting the illicit drug trafficking and illicit uh, goods trafficking. And we are now working with the uh, UODC, WCO, and the Brazilian Federal Police. They are also very supportive, and we have been uh, conducting a very good and a successful operation. And the force operation is in the f within the framework of AirCOP, which is a project implemented by UNODC, the, the Drug and Crime Agency of the United Nations. And this operation is led by Interpol, through which we can connect every JTF, every tax forces around the world. So we have two main uh, uh, tools. In this case, we have uh, I-24-7 database from Interpol and uh, CENCOM from World Customs Organization. Depending on the subject, we can easily exchange information, whether it's a warning, an alert message, or it's a feedback to give a uh, reply to these warning messages. And of course, if a seizure or an arrest has been effected, then uh, a special template is filled as well, and everyone can see uh, what's what has done, with, what is going on in this operation. Additionally, and this is uh, where Interpol comes into place, uh, we have to check these nominals distributed through the system in our I-24-7 uh, databases in the ISIS network. And of course, this will be done here in this operational coordination unit. These operations can only be successful through the commitment and the dedication of all the officers on the ground in all of the countries involved. They also require cooperation and coordination between all of the various law enforcement agencies. And Interpol is ideally and uniquely placed to support these efforts. However, it is not just the operations itself which is important. All of the information gathered can now be analyzed for further investigations in the source, transit, and destination countries. As a result of this operation, the cooperation between the different organizations and agencies could be strength, that's for sure. A lot of data could be stored in the Interpol databases and new modes of operandi regarding drug trafficking and money laundering were discovered.